The Auditor General recommended that the auction should be nullified and the vehicles recovered in the absence of the approval from the Minister of Finance. This follows the examination of the records of the Transport Unit for Judicial Service, which revealed that 19 official vehicles were auctioned by the service for 1,023,507 Ghana cities without approval from the Minister of Finance, contrary to Regulation 158 of the Public Financial Management Regulations 2019, which states that Principal Spending Officer of a covered entity shall obtain the prior written approval of the Minister for the Transfer, Exchange, Sale, Donation, Contribution in Kind, trust and any other disposal of any vehicles of the covered entity. Some of the judges captured in this particular report include Justice Kobia, who bought a Toyota Land Cruiser for 57,975 Ghana cities, Justice Badegbe, who bought a Toyota Land Cruiser for 67,047 Ghana cities, Justice Julius Ansa, who bought a Toyota Land Cruiser registered 2016 for 75,643 Ghana cities, and Justice Yao Apao, who bought a Toyota Land Cruiser for 56,606 Ghana cities. Relating to the Ministry of Justice and Attorney General, the Auditor General noted that the Ministry do not insure its official vehicles. According to the Auditor General, his review showed that in November 2020, the Ministry paid a judgment debt of 266,399 Ghana cities as compensation in respect of a road accident involving the Ministry's uninsured Nissan patrol vehicle, which resulted in the death of one person and various degrees of injuries to four other persons. Also, on the issue of an end salary, the Auditor General noted that two staff of the Ministry Lili Badungwana Atutiaga resigned on January 17, 2021, and Joycelyn Eji vacated post September 2019, but were, however, paid a total of an end salary of 170,123 Ghana cities for the period September 2019 to February 2021. The Auditor General has therefore recommended that the Chief Director should recover the total amount from Lili Badungbana Atutiaga and Joycelyn Eji, failure of which the chief director and the validators should be held liable for the refund of the amount. For the Ministry of Finance, the Auditor General noted that the Ministry of Finance sub-consolidated fund and chief director's bank accounts were garnished by a court in July 2021. The Auditor General noted that in March 2022, three other accounts of the ministry, namely the Special Fiscal Programs and Payments, Investor Relation Payments and Ghana Cares accounts, were also Ghana Shade, and as a result, the ministry was unable to use the five accounts for any transactions. According to the Auditor General, the Ministry of Finance explained that most of the Ghana Shade orders were occasioned by other MDAs who did not pay for goods and services supplied and judgment debts arising from cases brought against them. The Ministry of Finance also indicated that in many instances, the Ministry was not informed about the court proceedings and subsequent Ganache orders to enable its legal unit make presentation at the courts. The Auditor General also observed the issue of unrecovered loans and advances made to staff of the Ministry of Finance. According to the Auditor General, the Ministry of Finance grant loans and advances to civil and public servants, but it does not have a control mechanism for the recovery of such loans and advances. The Auditor General indicates that there were advances and loans as old as 4 years, 8 months and 11 years respectively, yet to be fully recovered. The Auditor General noted that three persons were paid a total of 1,112,895 Ghana cities as salaries for the period January 2020 to December 2021, but he could not trace their personal files and names on the nominal role of the minister.